Hello, my figure darlings. Uh, how are y'all doing? Um, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm finally back from uh, my week-long vacation in Orlando in the States. And um, it was pretty good. It was pretty fun. I uh, had a lot of fun there. Um, you know, took a lot of pictures and video, so I have a lot of stuff to uh, look over and upload to my computer and all that. Um, Maybe if I, there's anything interesting, like any interesting videos, I'll probably upload them to my channel or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty fun week. And um, so I'm making this video because, well, today was pretty awesome. Today being, okay, well, the time's like, like one something now. So uh, today being whatever the hell before one o'clock was, or before 12. Um, so anyways, uh, I get back from my, uh, my, my trip. Uh, from the States yesterday, uh, came back, you know, pretty much just went to sleep and just like totally went and like passed out until like 2 today. Um, so, you know, I got up, I uh, started unpacking, you know, kind of after vacation stuff like that. And um, it, it was about like, I think, uh, I don't know, I can't remember the exact time, but it was like, it was about like nighttime ish. And, um, you know, I was thinking whether I should go out to eat for dinner. Uh, and at first I was like, you know, I'm tired, I don't want to go out, stuff like that. But then I was kind of like, you know, my my parents are probably tired from the vacation too, so I don't want to have I don't want to have them to like cook or anything like that. So I was like, you know, why don't we just go out? Uh, we'll just get something to eat, and then that'll be it. So we went to um, for all you Chinese people, Lam Yun. It's like it's at the Times Square at Leslie and Highway Seven. Um, it's like Richmond Court restaurant or something like that. Um, so we went there and we were, you know, I was sitting down and I was eating. Um, so we ordered our food. I wasn't eating. I, I ordered my food already. And then, um, I was sitting at my table. And, you know, I was looking around. I was like, everything's normal. And then I see this one guy walk in. And, you know, at first I was kind of like, you know, that looks a whole lot like Dave Buck. Now, you have to understand I was gone for a week. So I don't, I'm not updated with anything in, like, the magic world or sleight of hand world, right? So I look at him. I'm like, that looks a lot like Dave Buck. You know, I didn't want to run up to him and be like, Oh, you, oh my god, you're Dave Buck! And like totally flip out on a random stranger, because then he'd think I'm crazy. So, you know, I, I was just like, okay, it's probably nothing. Like, he's probably just another, uh, it's like some guy who looks like him. And then, so a bunch of people walk in. I didn't really pay much attention to the people. Um, one of them, who was actually uh, Lee Asher, uh, but, you know, I didn't know that until later. And so, you know, they all walk in, they sit down at the table, and then uh, two of them came in at the end. And then I look at them, and I'm like, is that Dan Buck? And I see him, and then he's holding a deck of bee stingers. And then I take a closer look. I'm like, that is definitely Dan Buck. And, you know, I was like, I started to like, I don't know, I just, just felt really cool. Because, I mean, like, you know, they're from the States. Along with Lee Asher and the Buck Twins are both are all from the States. And, you know, I had no idea why they would be here. And I'm like, they're in Toronto eating at the same restaurant as me, you know, that, that's kind of cool. And so, at this point, I was kind of like, you know, not in a state of shock, but I was just like, that's really awesome. And so I go over, and then I, I you know, I find who, who looks like Dan. And I'm like, excuse me, are you Dan Buck? And he, he turns around, he's like, yeah, I am. And I'm like, that's awesome. And naturally, you know, I, uh, I saw where they were sitting, you know, they had two tables full of people, uh, because there's a, uh, a lecture going on, I think, at the Eglinton Library, they said, uh, near Browser's Den of Magic or something like that. And so they did, they had a lecture today, I believe. There's a They had a some, like, Chinese lecture or something, and then they had an interview on Fairchild TV after that with, um, uh, with like, what it's called, like, Ba Zhao Yu or something like that. Um, so I guess I can link you guys to that video if you want. It's just, like, an after-show interview about them. And then... Uh, so yeah, they're having a lecture, and then that's why they're in Toronto with Lee Asher, and they're with a whole bunch of other magicians from, I think, the States and also uh, from across Canada, so that's really cool, and then, um, you know, I got to see all of them, and uh, I got to get a picture with the Buck Twins, and one of the greatest minds of the 21st century, Lee Asher, so, you know, that, like, along with my vacation that I just came back from, that just, like, just topped it off and just totally made my week and I thought that was awesome and um, you know I don't want to be like a crazy creeper and be like you know I shook their hand and I felt their awesome essence of magic and 
great mindedness seep into me or something. I don't want to be like that, but I mean that, you know, it was it was really an honor to meet them, and I thought that was really cool and everything. And, um, you know, it's just it's just kind of cool. Uh, I don't know, I, I really don't know what to say, because, you know, I would, I would never expect us to, expect to see Lee Asher or Dan Dave, like, ever, and it's just, it's just kind of weird. Um, I, I, you know, I wasn't, like, worried, like, oh, am I underdressed or anything like that, you know, I just, it was just cool to meet people. To me, like, because I like doing magic and flourishes, to me, that's kind of like, I don't know, I, this is a really bad metaphor, but it's like, a basketball fan finding the big three, as in Bosch, Wade, and LeBron, eating in the same restaurant, all together at the same table as that person. I guess that's a it's a bad metaphor, or simile, or whatever. I don't know. It's that's it's something like that. You can you can kind of picture that. But yeah, so that that was really awesome. That made my day, and I just yeah, I guess that's why I'm making this video. That's pretty much all I have to say. That's pretty what pretty much all I had to say about today and, you know, the past, well, not the past week, but definitely today. Yeah. And, uh, I have Lee Asher following me on Twitter. Not that that's a big deal. He follows a lot of people, uh, and a lot of people follow him, but I mean, like, you know, the fact that he found me was pretty awesome. Like, all I had was, I posted a, a picture of, like, of me and him up on, uh, on Daily Booth or whatever, and I tweeted it, and then somehow he found that picture of, uh, of me and him, and I was like, you know, that's that's pretty sick. I'm no Twitter expert, but I still think that's really cool. And uh, I think there's a Josh Norris there too. You, you guys should go check him out. But um, I think he was at the dinner too. He's following me now on Twitter, so it makes me feel kind of special. All right, well, that's all that mattered to me today. So see you guys later.